always a rainbow within reach on animal So good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? A green apple. That's right. Let's see if you can guess what my other paintings are. What's this? That's Mr. Frog. <laughs> yes. And what's this? Hmm. It looks like a green airplane. That's right. What's this one? That's a green pumpkin. They're usually orange, but I wanted to paint a green one. Did you notice something about all my paintings? Look again. I painted a green apple, Mr. Frog, a green airplane, and a green pumpkin. What do they all have in common? They're all green. That's right. Today, I'm only painting green things. Pig's paintings give me an idea. Let's make green our special color of the day. Crunching leaves, but only green leaves. <gasps> I see one. Let's look for more. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. <laughs> We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! Pig, Fox, I'm going to show you a new way of painting. Ooh. Um, I don't see any paint brushes. That's right, Fox. We're not going to paint with paint brushes. Huh? Huh? We're going to paint with sponges. Ready to see what happens? Uh -huh. Okay. Do you want to start with blue paper or red paper? Mm, blue, please. And I'll take red, please. Great. Now, pick up a sponge. 
Dip it in the yellow paint. <laughs> and start painting. Oh, 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 look. My paper is turning orange. Because red and yellow make orange. My paper is turning green. That's right. <gasps> look how smooth it looks. I'm tapping my sponge. <laughs> it looks rough, like, like rocks. Smooth and rough are textures. Say it after me. Textures. Textures. I'm done. Me too. Let's hang up your paintings and look at them. What's something that's the same about your paintings? We both painted with sponges. That's right. What else? We both painted with yellow. Yes. And what's something different about your paintings? Mine came out green. And Pig's is orange. And my painting is rough, but Fox's is smooth. That's right. Now, what do we do when we're done painting? We go play. Uh-huh. But first... We clean up. Oh, right. That's right. Let's clean up together. Okay. okay. colors like the color green. It's story time! Yay! Get around, everyone! What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Small Bird's Big Adventure. Small Bird lives with a giant. See if you can guess who the giant really is. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let's begin. Small Bird's Big Adventure Written by Nick Mulgrew Illustrated by Wesley Van Eden Designed by Jennifer Jacobs Small Bird was a small bird. He was very small and very birdy. Small Bird lived in a beautiful house with the giant. Small Bird loved the giant very much. She was a kind giant. She gave Small Bird lots of toys. Small Bird was sad when the giant wasn't around, so one day Small Bird went to find the giant. Small Bird flew up and up until he could see the whole world. He wanted to find the giant. Where would he land? Small Bird landed in a huge forest filled with trees and flowers and treasure. Small Bird loved playing with the shiny jewels. But where was the giant? Small Bird walked into a vast field of snow. The snow was white and soft. Small Bird loved rolling around on the cool ground. But where was the giant? 
This time, Smallbird flew even higher into the sky. He flew among the stars and galaxies. He saw the moon. He saw a comet. But where was the giant? From way up high, with his sharp, birdie eyes, Smallbird saw something. What could it be? Smallbird dived down, down, down. Where would he land? Smallbird landed right in the giant's hands. He was so happy to see her. I love you, giant, he shrieked. The giant held Smallbird close to her. I love you too, the giant said. The End Thank you, Mr. Goose! Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids! Hello, Mr. Frog! Let's sing a counting song about potatoes! Potatoes? Yes, potatoes! It goes like this. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Are you ready to count potatoes with me? Yeah! Let's go! Here we go! One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Again. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Ooh, that was fun. That was wonderful. Thank you for singing with me. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Goodbye. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Zipper. Z -z Zipper. <laughs> Zebra. Z -z -z Zebra. <laughs> Zoo. Z -z -z Zoo. <laughs> Zigzag. Z -z -z Zigzag. What letter do all these words start with? Z. That's right. The letter Z. Hmm, this is tricky. Oh, there it is. And now it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Lullaby and good night. In the sky, stars are bright. Round your head. 
flowers gay, set your slumbers till day. Lullaby and good night. In the sky, stars are bright. Round your head, flowers gay. Set your slumbers till day. Close your eyes now and rest. May these hours be blessed. Close your eyes now and rest. May these hours be blessed. Close your eyes now and rest. May these hours be blessed. Close your eyes now and rest. May these hours.